I'm Cecilia Ridgeway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a delicious stuffed shell with meat. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me each and every day. When we get to 800, we are going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. One for new subs, one for comments. If you are new, you must comment below. You are new and be a U.S. citizen. If you comment, you must already be subscribed and be a U.S. citizen. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. He's also directing you to smash on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget, you can still send Jacqueline a birthday card. Just give me a shout out in the comments and I'll tell you how to do so. Let's get cooking and don't forget to tap on that bell. I am going to show you how to make a real easy weeknight stuffed shells. I'm going to take a can of crushed tomatoes, 28 ounces, one pound. Just dump it into the crock pot. A can of the sauce, and that is eight ounces. And I generally use two of them, doesn't matter what name brand, both eight ounces. A can of the diced tomatoes, 14.5 ounces, just dump it in there. One of the rare things that I'll use all the juices with then I discovered at Walmart a big can of the tomato paste, and this is 12 ounces, and it's better than buying two cans, and you're, you're saving money by buying in volume or quantity. I'm going to scoop out as much as you can, just like that Velveeta cheese packet. That's hard to get everything out of it. And I like to buy the packets of that cheese because Velveeta brick is so, so expensive, even at Walmart. Okay, that's pretty decent for what we did there. Then I take a jar of your favorite sauce, and I have Prego meat sauce this time. I'm just going to rinse my hands real quick. Always wash your hands before you start working with food. And dump that jar all the way in like that. This jar is 24 ounces, one pound. And we're going to mix well. I have it set to low in the crock pot. I'm going to season it with black pepper, garlic, and onion soup mix, my three favorite spices. This sauce will be amazing and super thick. I like my sauce to sit on the moat, not run around it like a river. First in is my onion soup mix, about a tablespoon. And the black pepper, three teaspoons. I just eyeball it in. I went to culinary school and I was told I had the skills of a spice master. Then you're gonna add in three teaspoons of garlic. If you have fresh garlic, you may use fresh. I like to use the granulated garlic for my family's needs. Gonna mix it well. Now we're gonna prep the filling for the stuffed shells. I'm not gonna pre-cook the stuffed shells. I'm gonna stuff them as is and line them up in the crock pot with its filling and they are going to come out perfect, just like my lasagna. I'm going to cover this for now and prep the filling. Make sure you can see my bowl here. I had bought this a couple of BJ holes ago, and I'm going to use up the rest of it. My ricotta cheese, I had bought a couple of holes ago. I'm just mash it into the bowl here. And I'm going to add a half a bag of mozzarella. I like to keep my containers so I can send leftovers to friends of mine and family members. Then I don't have to worry about my containers coming back. A friend of mine brought me really nice containers big size ones to send meals over because I've been cooking for shut-ins through our church. The pastor's wife got me really great containers and I like them a lot. 
When you're cutting your cheese bag, make sure you don't cut too far down so you can use the zip seal on it. And you're just going to dump a half of that here. Now we're going to season this with just a teaspoon of garlicky black pepper. Give it a little bit of taste. cheese is off the spoon. And taking one hand, holding on to the bowl with the other, you're going to mix everything well. Now I'm going to add half of my ground beef into this mixture, half into the crock pot. I thawed my beef out last night. So it'll be ready for this morning. Just break it up. Make sure it's not in chunks. Then I'm going to take the rest of this beef and dump it into the crock pot here. Doing the same thing, making sure that it's not in chunks. Just to get a little bit of substance into the pot here. And I'll mix it up right before we add the shells. Again, you're going to mix the beef right in with the cheese. You do not have to worry about pre-cooking or even searing your beef to give it a little head start. It will cook completely in your crock pot mixed in with the cheese on low for eight hours. This is how my Nana made stuffed shells. So you can see inside the crock pot, I'm going to open up my box. So you can see inside my crock pot, I'm going to open up the box of Jumbo Shells by Barilla, not a sponsor. If you like Barilla pasta, we use it all the time. And I have clean hands, and the ones that are open like this, take a pinch of the cheese mixture with the beef and stuff it on in. Now you can do this with spinach if you wanted to with the cheese, that would be delicious. My family are meat eaters, not spinach eaters, although I love spinach. And your shell is going to look like this. And you're going to stick it right into the crock pot. And just repeat the process until you have the desired amount of stuffed shells lined up in your crock pot. I'm going to use the entire bowl mixture here and do a couple more for you. I love these one pot meals with these big fancy Italian dinners that used to take work and prep all day. Modified a simple modern times. I'm going to continue stuffing my shells and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Here's what the crock pot looks like with them all filled. I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of Parmesan. And then a little bit more cheese over the top. Real easy way to make a delicious stuffed shells during the week. Now we're going to cover the stuffed shells for about eight hours. I'll come back and forth and check on it and make sure it's turned on to low. It is four hours later and look at how amazing these stuffed shells look. And that homemade canned puree sauce with all the wonderful seasonings and spices and cheese. I cannot wait until this is done. I'm going to take out the stuffed shells. It is eight hours later. I'm going to grab a plate. And it smells 
metal is incredible. I want you to be able to see what it looks like. As I take it out, get a view of the plate. It's going to cut a little bit like you would a lasagna. And there's going to be extra sauce. You can use that extra sauce to do a round two meal in the oven. Bunch of the shells and put them onto your plate. That is what it looks like. Here are what the stuffed shells look like, and the beef cooked all the way through, and the cheese melted nice and evenly. that is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. The stuffed shells came out fabulous. The beef cooked all the way through. The cheese melted completely and it looks phenomenal and I cannot wait to eat. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me every day. Do not forget about the giveaway when we get to 800. We are nearly 75 away from 800. Don't forget to give me a shout out if you'd like to send Jack on a birthday card. My subscribe guide just popped up. He's asking everyone to go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to smash on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell.